M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Uniden SDS3600. It's 2024, let's add the latest Sentinel software and update the firmware. So on the left here, I'll put the link in the description, you've got the Uniden 3600 XLT. The same, I believe, in the USA is the BCD436. Anyway, let's just download Sentinel here, just going to click the download, just here as it loads in our download folder there. We'll open that up, should be quite quick. We have got a USB connect cable connected to the device, but it's just charging at the moment. Let's click the XC, double click, and then just run it. And we'll go next, next. I do check this about every six months to make sure there's not been any updates. I know there has been with the STS 100, 200, not really sure about the 3600, but we're going to check now. Uh, so there you are, it's been installed, start, that's the Windows, and we're looking for the 3600 one, which is just here, and it will load, like so, and it will probably try and update, Uniden 3600, so let's connect the radio, so all you do is make sure it's in your PC, unplug and then plug back in whilst the device is turned on and then click enter. And it goes into what they call, oh no, I wasn't quick enough. It goes into what they call SD card mode. Let's do that again. Let's just turn it on. And to put the light on, press the, the on off button. There you go. So enter. Writing to SD card is what it will say. That means it's talking to the software. We may as well read from the scanner. So we'll go read. It finds the scanner. Click OK. I'm just going to tick the box and click the top one. Then click OK. Now I'm going to go update firmware. It finds the scanner. Click OK. Really, it's talking. It's always talking to the SD card and it now says that I'm running the current version so that's it so if you want to see what version I'm running all I got all I have to do is unplug the cable for now turn on the scanner now I think this is a very good choice of scanner because I feel you get a lot for your money I think it's got the AA batteries that are completely removable it's a real nice thin sort of size sounds great it does DMR I, I actually recommend this as a good choice, although it's not a colour screen. So we'll just go menu, which is the side button. Turn the volume button back one click, then push it down. And then go back a click again. It's exactly the same for the SDS 100, 200. Push down. Firmware, push down. And there you go. Unfortunately, I, I actually think they could put a waterfall on this. Let's just back out myself I, even though it will be black and white i still actually think it will be quite a nice feature anyway thanks for watching my youtube channel links in the description 73 all the best